Alright guys, what's up? This is Crash Navi. This is a, my fifth or sixth time doing this because I am an idiot on recording. I haven't recorded in a long time. But, please hear me out to the end of the video and stick around because I'm going to do a lot of explaining. It should be 10 minutes max, 12 maybe. Uh, yes, there might not be background gameplay. Uh, I could explain that it's just shitty. Uh, gameplay of mine, or I don't have any gameplay at all to show right now. But I want you guys to see what level I am, where I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna tell you guys about the Fortnite Ultimate Challenge that will either make or break you. And by that, I mean it's gonna make you as great of a player as Ninja or whoever you watch, or maybe even better. And by break you, it just means that you just suck and you will never be able to be as good as them. But this Ultimate Fortnite Challenge. The first requirement that you need is to not, that's right, not get the battle pass. That's right. This challenge requires you to reach level 100 without a battle pass. And by level, I mean level, not tier. Level 100. And as far as I know, no one, no YouTuber, no big Twitch streamer has been able to complete this challenge. I'm going to try to do this for season 6 to be the first one. Now I did want to release this video two days before, but I got busy and I just didn't have time to record this. I wish I did, because uh, even now I took like about 5 to 6 hours to figure out what was going on. But not a lot, a lot of people that I know ended up buying the battle pass, don't worry, you could try this on season 7, season 8, etc. I know I am. I'm gonna keep trying it until I get better. Hopefully I do reach level 100. Now, here are the things you're gonna need to be able to complete this challenge. First and second, most, if you're going, if you're elementary, middle school, or high school, most likely you won't be able to complete this challenge because obviously studying is first priority. Yes, this is coming out of someone who's trying to be someone of a youtuber mostly as a hobby uh your parents are always gonna tell you get off the thing and i don't blame them because this is gonna take a very very long time uh, another thing is uh unless if you have co-parents another thing is you have to have close to no life meaning you have to have a lot of free time on you uh so if you go to work, for example, you gotta figure that out. And this is gonna be a very tough challenge for me, especially because I'm working right now full time. I'm gonna start school very soon. And then on top of that, I'm making trophy hunting videos. So that means I'm doing PlayStation trophies or Xbox achievement, uh, live streams or etc. And on top of that, I'm trying to reach level 100 and save the world before Christmas. I'm going to do a very big giveaway for that. So if you guys are interested in that, subscribe, hit the notification button, and stick around. As well as go check me out on Twitch and Mixer. Whenever, because uh, I'll probably be streaming on there or even on here. Uh, but for that, that's going to be a different video for another time. I'll be more into detail for that. But back to the challenge. So for this challenge, what you have to do for every single week you have to reach 10 levels that's right or you could try to level up two to three times so that means for example today i am level one i already missed a day so i have to make up for it so i have to at least reach level six or nine uh, for today because it uh, started like two days ago or a day ago I forgot yesterday it's 39? I don't know. Whatever. It started two days ago. But that's what you're going to have to do for these challenges. You have to level up to two or three times a day just to complete it. Now, once you reach week five and you are not level 50 or 60, which will be the sweet spot, then just give up. You're not going to be able to do it. You don't have time. Just go by the battle pass and do what you're going to do. But if you're going to be as, uh, persistent and be like, oh, no, I could do it. I'm going to do it. You're talking nonsense. If you apparently could do it, I could do it. Okay, go for it. Be my guest. But if you are bad at challenges, 
and you still want this mysterious uh, skin or character, whatever. Uh, for this season, you have to complete 10 weeks. So if you're on week 9 and you're not around level 90 or, rare, or like 2 or 3 levels close to 100, 2 to 3 days before week 9 ends or within 2 or 3 days of week 10, then get the battle pass, complete the challenges. Because completing the challenges takes about 2 to 3 days. I'm saying this. Or mostly a week if you're bad at doing challenges. A week or two if you're bad at doing challenges. Because I've done from season, I think, three. From season three, probably. I've completed every single challenge from the battle pass for two separate accounts. If I could do it and I work full time, if I could do it, then you could do it. No matter who you are. The only thing is you will have to be using Google a lot. Or a lot of things like that. A lot. Um, but if you could reach level 60. Or 62 or 65. And I'm going to use these. As that I have. Ragnarok. Uh, by the time you reach 60 or 65. You should be at 250 XP. Or 500,000 XP. When you reach level 100. But that obviously that mysterious character. Or even... I'm pretty sure this climatic climatic tea I can't speak right now. She has her own pickaxe and the same goes with the werewolf guy all the way towards the end. Uh, they probably have their own pickaxe. I haven't opened the battle pass or anything, but they have their own pickaxe. Because um, if you reach tier 100 without the battle pass, all this, even the, the stars, it becomes XP. And that XP will go straight towards... Uh, those characters or whoever you're, you you need to use XP, which I doubt because you'll probably reach level 100 regardless by that time. Or if you're level 60, you'll get the XP like very quickly and you'll unlock everything very fast because it's 10 weeks. So it, when it adds up, it, it works out. So then you should be good by then. Uh, you should be able to get him. You should be able to get whatever pickaxe or glider they have. Obviously, these are still here. I wish they weren't here. I could hide them for the video. But this is the max I reached for last season because I didn't really play. Because I was like, yeah, whatever. You know, I could do the challenges whenever I want and I will still get them. And I was right. And I still managed to keep this. But for this one, I don't get a battle pass. So that means I have to level up if I want to get the bottom part. The, to the whole top part is fine if I get it. It's just going to be very, very hard for me. Because I won't have that XP boost you get from the battle pass. Uh, maybe that friend XP boost if I'm playing with them. Which I suggest you do. But in the end, you still have to get uh, 5 to 12 kills more. If you want, you have to be within the third, uh, the third circle of the storm that's closing in. So then you could start getting XP for time lasting, and land, and you have to be within uh, tenth place or higher. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, etc. Uh, third place and second place are the sweet spots because that's where you get a lot of XP. Obviously, if you win. That's a lot of XP. I think it's like a thousand XP. I don't know. If you remember, I'll throw up some pictures up there showing how much XP you get from each thing. Uh, I think I even have one for a winning one. Uh, but pretty much, you having uh, in the end, you have to get five to twelve kills. Because if you're not getting those five to twelve kills, win or lose, you're not getting that much XP. Uh, obviously, you get like. 3, 2, or 1 kill and you win. Okay, that's still good. That's still really good because you're getting that XP from your victory royale. And it works out. But preferably, if you want, try to get those 5 to 12 kills every single game, win or lose. Uh, that means you're going to have to be very strategic, very or very good builder, etc. And hopefully by the end... You are good as a ninja or maybe even better as some 
or Myth or whoever you watch as a big YouTuber. Uh, maybe Dan TDM or whoever you watch. Doesn't matter. Uh, but you should be able to do this. Now, obviously, if you guys end up subscribing and watching me, I'm not doing Fortnite all the time. If I do, it's going to be live streams mostly and I'll probably just upload the whole thing. I don't know. I have literally almost 60 videos I haven't uploaded and they're almost a whole year old. So by the time you guys start seeing Fortnite videos, it's going to be around December. Where I'm going to do the Save the World announcement or giveaway for that. Uh, but that's pretty much what you have to do for these challenges. If you want to reach level 100 without a battle pass. So I challenge anyone who thinks they are better than Ninja or anyone else. And if you want to prove that you're better than your friends, this is the perfect way to prove it by reaching level 100 without a battle pass. So, good luck. Hopefully you guys succeed. Hopefully you guys are able to make it. Sorry, I, I kept talking too long. But hopefully you could do it. Hopefully I could do it. By the end of the, if whoever sticks around subscribes, I will be uploading a video be two or three days or maybe even a week before this season ends so you guys could see my progression or how far i've gotten hopefully i reach level 100 by that time but i will be live streaming this a lot also hashtag default skins because fortunately i'm gonna go as a default until i get better until i reach level 50 or 60 then i'll start using my random skins from my locker i have a lot Obviously, can't get rid of, can't get rid of the gliders or anything. I could actually, you know what? I could. Oh, there you go. I'll just set it up as a default, so people won't know who I am. Should I? I will have the basic umbrella as well. And uh, no, no contrail. Obviously, I'll still have my emotes. Um. Uh, Loading screen obvious is gonna be random. My banner, it's from my uh, I think second or third alpha pre alpha tester. I wish I had the first one because it looks really cool, but boom, there you go. Default skin with default equipment. Um, and that'll be pretty much it for it. I, I should be. I should, uh, I have the founder glider. Founder, I'll, I'll do founder's umbrella so they could see I'm a founder at least. I remember people used to be afraid of this. <laughs> so hopefully they'll be afraid of the founder umbrella one more time. So if you guys see me, I'll be on PlayStation. If you guys see Xbox controllers, I'm either on the Xbox bar, but most likely on the PC using an Xbox controller. If you want to get good with keyboard, I suggest you take some typing classes or you play typing games like the Walking Dead typing? I don't know the name of the game. If, if I remember, I'll put it up here as well. But those should help you remember or help you type because a better typer means you know where everything is without looking at the keyboard and you could become a better uh, player at any shootout game because you remember your loadout. So, and that is Crash Navi signing out. Once again, sorry for talking too long. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this challenge with your friends if they're willing to do it. Other than that, I'll catch you guys later. Bye!